Welcome to Card Study, a series where I tell you about the lore behind our beloved Gwent cards. Today's video is about Francesca Findebear, one of the three leader cards of the Scoia'tael faction. As she doesn't actually appear in any of the Witcher games, I'm sure most of you don't know who she is. And so our story begins. Francesca Findebear also known as Enid Angliana, which is Daisy of the Valleys in Elder Tongue. She is an elven sorceress and considered to be the most beautiful woman in the world. Elves are the eldest race on the continent. They lived peacefully until humans came and forced them off of their lands. One of their homes originally being Dolblathana. Humans push the elves into the blue mountains that are located behind the city. Obviously, the elven people weren't happy about this. They were dying off due to lack of food sources and an inability to reproduce. Elves have a very long lifespan, but their reproductive years are only a small fraction of that. They needed to do something to put an end to their suffering. A group called the Scoia'tael was formed. They were guerrilla warriors determined to fight for non-human freedom, not only built up by elves, but other non-humans such as dwarves and halflings. They mastered the art of striking from the shadows, but it wasn't enough to help them. They needed to do more. Here's where Francesca comes in. She allied herself and the Scoia'tael with the Nilfgaardian Empire in the second Nilfgaard Nordling War. The elven people were at a divide with this decision. Some still hated the humans for what they'd done in the past and would rather expire in the mountains than become allies with the ones that put them there. Those who did join the fight saw it as an opportunity for change and a chance to win their freedom back. Phase one of the war began with a coup. As a member of the Brotherhood of Sorcerers, Francesca was invited to a reunion between the other members of the council. The meeting was held on Thanet Island it began with the council discussing their alliances with either the Northern Kingdoms, Nilfgaard, or declaring neutrality. Things between council members got heated and secret plans of attack were uncovered. Supporters from both sides began to fight, including a group of Scoia'tael commandos who Francesca had smuggled in. Isengrim was among them and was a key player in the event. For her role in the coup, Francesca was made Queen of Dalblathana, now a free elven state given to them by the Nilfgaardian Emperor. Several council members were killed in the battle, and thus led to the disbanding of the Brotherhood. This sparked the creation of the Lodge of Sorceresses. Francesca was a founder, along with Philippa Aylhart, Triss Marigold, Kira Metz, and several others. It was to remain a secret organization comprised of entirely female mages. The goal was to protect and preserve magic in the world above all else, even before their respective nations. In 1268, the Peace of Sintra Treaty ended the Second Nilfgaard Nordling War, one of the agreements being that Francesca hand over the Scoia'tael to the Northern Kingdoms to be executed for their war crimes. Francesca had no choice but to follow orders, or she would risk losing Dalblathana and any hope left for her people. Of all the elves that fought for Nilfgaard, only 55 officers from the Vriad Brigade were surrendered to the Northern Kingdoms. Of the 55, only 53 of them were successfully executed, while Asengrim and Yorvith managed to escape. The groups of Scoia'tael that helped fight in the wars felt deceived, as if they were thrown to the wolves by their queen after the war was over. She traded them for Dalblathana, and only some of them think it was worth it. Will the queen ever be able to bond her people back together? Or will the elves stay divided? Squesme, Evelyn. Forgive me, everyone. Thank you guys so much for watching my first lore video. 
Um, I really enjoyed making it and I'm really excited to make more. If you guys have any preferences on what cards you'd like to see me cover next, please leave comments down below. And if you have any critiques on the video, please let me know also. I would love to hear them. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope you have a great day and I will see you next time.